doing another video uh, on the Battle of Alaska. This is the Kuril Islands. Now, basically, you just want to get all your strong forces down. Uh, we want to put down our, your strongest infantry guy you've got on those rocketeers because you're going to sky train them in a minute. Uh, you may as well put your current up down on the BM. Uh, you can put any tank you like on that one. I just don't want to put my strongest on it. So basically, you want to sky train him over to go and help with the northern area because you actually need it uh, to basically win the mission. So you may as well go send him up there to help and you send your medic up there to keep him alive as they do deal a bit of damage. Now I put Guderian down here because I'm going to be using him to take the lands down at the bottom. And I use the subs and uh, Dennis to attack uh, this middle fleet. And I uh, spend uh, my money on putting the elite force down for Yamaguchi. Now I didn't find this mission too bad. Uh, you can get out with some troops. Um, I wouldn't risk using uh, Malinovsky to close quarters as he can shoot from afar. Now if you don't have the Richelieu and then um, just put that on the Wales and it'll do the same job. You sort of want to have two different fleets at the start. You want to have one fleet which is going towards the middle area, taking out that first fortress, and the other fleet taking out some of these tanks and just going towards that bottom right fortress. Now here I attack straight with Marnovsky. You don't actually have to do that, uh, as it is actually a bit of a risk. Now you, try, you want to try to do this tactic by shooting from afar, you don't want to get too uh, close to him. You also want to work on trying to get Guderian towards that middle island, you'll gain a load of money from him. Which is why I then use a little to try and do that. I would recommend leaving a unit on that first island just to protect it from any uh, land units trapped in the city. Take that middle one, obviously, and uh, move your donuts or whoever you've got towards your other fleet and then join the fleets together. Uh, the money boost is useful, you can place on some more units if you want some more, you could use air power. I do think you might have a nuke in this mission, which you should definitely use. Decision. Now we've almost destroyed uh, this fortress, it's getting pretty close. And uh, yeah, once you defeat all the units in the top left as well, I'll just heal Sokolovsky. You can try and move them across, it's just a bit of a mistake, especially with the Arky there. I'll just focus on trying to move Kadari now, because he's a strong lad. Once you take out both of the fortresses, just want to combine the fleets.
City. As you can place down some additional units once you take it over, uh, in case your current units are already weak. You don't need to worry about these units too much on the top left. You can also combine your fleets a lot more and um, sort of just help these units get across. Yeah, so once I take the city of Gadir and down a lot more units, you also get more money, so you can place down more units. Or you can try and use air power, but I would recommend just putting land units down. You can place more artillery if you like, or just more tanks. Sure you use your nuke, I completely forgot to do so. Right, so I'll place Yamamoto down because I'm going to use the nuke in a second. That's why he's there. Um, the rest of the video is pretty self explanatory, so I'll just let you watch it. But uh, thank you for watching my video. Uh, the next uh, level will be out soon. Thank you for watching.